I, I think people should dig in should have that ability to at least dig into your mindset a little bit when uh, when it comes to hard work because like you're at the top of your industry but in terms of athletes the lifestyle it's not like you're like a rigor rigorous like trainer it's more a sport based on adrenaline correct and like your willingness to go for things so how where does the competitive spirit work into that because i feel like if you were wanted to be the top of top 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 of your sport you would be like clean cut diet wouldn't party well the thing with our sport is i think it's it's honestly very performance based like there's a lot of sports which you have to do a lot of training and then that training will show in the event like in like endurance type of stuff like you gotta train for it and then like if or if you haven't trained that's gonna show up but in our sport in, in sport like slope style i'm sure it's pretty similar in ski and snowboard slope style that it's like it's about performance and making it happen in the moment like doesn't matter how hard you've trained for it or like any of that it's like it's just if, showing up if or if you can make it happen on that day in those conditions against the field of riders that's there against you like can you make it happen in that moment so that's why i feel like i think that's like a lot of extreme sports yeah but that's why the extreme sports lifestyle is the way it is there's a lot of craziness involved screw it a lot of partying involved not as much training dieting as you said which might make us healthier but more just appreciating the lifestyle and making it happen so you think there's a in the moment there's a sense of the lifestyle where it insinuates all this adrenaline and craziness that you kind of need to perform yeah because you need to you need to you appreciate need to the moment you need to love the moment you need to be hype in the moment because that will make you motivated to make it happen because when you're on the start ramp and they call it like it's your turn and it's you against the course nothing else like n nobody else can influence it it's just you against the jumps that they've set up for you you got to try to win you got to try to do so the best out of everyone so you have to love that moment and you have to love everything <coughs> about that moment the before the during and like the after to motivate yourself to win events like that which is why i think the extreme sports people and lifestyle is so like adrenaline filled and so like crazy rather than like strict diet and stuff like that but what i'm saying is if you were to like just eat od clean and like you know like do like shuttle runs mile runs all that shit you don't think you perform better um i i'm not i'm not necessarily saying you wouldn't perform better because there's a potential of that but there's also um i feel like there's a threat of like having the wrong motivation for the moment you know but i get like what do you mean it's it's hard to explain because um if you're like if you're training that hard like with the running and the training and and the physical there gym stuff a and the, looseness to and it kinda. The, yeah the, it's kind of like that's not what the legends of the sport really seem to have wanted and that's not what the sport is about it's more like a very heavy entertainment based sport like like more gnarly, crazy, sandy, sometimes even a bit sketchy is like the thrill rather than like the clean, precise, sense, like yeah. exactly. But someone could come so. in your sport and brand themselves like that, I bet. Because it's probably open space for it. Oh, totally. But the, so but like someone could come in just like fucking ripped up, totally fit, like clean cut haircut, not too shaggy. And he's like, hey, I'm the machine. There are athletes like that and they're very successful athletes like that. Like, but like Simon still Dumont different. for skiing. Do you remember? He was like very heavy on his training. A lot of skiers have been very heavy on, on the training. But like it's, I'm just not saying mountain bikers aren't heavy on the training. It's just a different type of training because it's training like those crazy tricks are training like those massive drops to be ready to hit them like in early conditions it's like a different type of training it's not necessarily training your body it's training like everything about you like your adrenaline levels your it's like, fear it's like, it's like how crazy can i get up here without getting actually nuts exactly my I dog feel, i feel you my bro scat Let me get in there, bro. <laughs> That's bad.